Mike Omeg from Omeg Orchards. I want to show you the results of a trial that Jim Dunlop and I did here on our farm. What we wanted to evaluate was different, two different uh, fungal stimulant additives that we add to our wood mulch and compost mix that we blend together and then um, put out in our orchard rows to uh, provide stimulation to the soil biology in our orchards. It's my assistant, Cade, my youngest son here, helping me out. Um, the results that we had are very interesting. So what we did is, is we did, uh, we added a um, set volume of our compost and mulch blend uh, to each of these jars. And then um, we added uh, oil or shrimp to the treatments, and then we did an oil and shrimp treatment. The oil is a uh, fish oil um, that's uh, from fish caught off the Washington coast. It's a almost pure oil product uh, that we get, and it's cold pressed, it's not heat extracted. Um, the shrimp that we get is from a commercial cannery, and it's not processed in any ways, it's just the waste heads and uh, shells from the cannery. They extract the meat that they use in the canned product, and then uh, we utilize we utilize the heads and guts and shells. And uh, so we uh, took these additives and we added them to each treatment, uh, one with them blended and uh, then two with them individually. And then we had a treatment with just the compost and mulch uh, by itself uh, without any uh, additives to it. We took these jars then after we made these blends and we sanitized them in a pressure cooker um, so that we could kill any of the biology that was in them uh, going into the experiment. And uh, by the way, um, there you go, likes his binky. By the way, I wouldn't suggest uh, pressure cooking jars full of fish, uh, fish oil, shrimp, and compost and mulch in your home uh, if you uh, are sensitive to smells or want to survive your wife coming home. Uh, I'm lucky to be alive and able to make this video, as the smell is, uh, we should say, intense. However, so we extract, we took these jars out after they'd been sanitized, and then we added a known volume of uh, liquid mycelium of Phoenix oyster mushroom to each of them. Uh, and so each jar was treated with the same volume of liquid culture Phoenix oyster mushroom using this, um, using these uh, homemade lids that Jim has done um, that prov allow us to, um, in a sterile condition, add the, um, add the uh, liquid fungi to the, uh, to the treatments. And what we saw was some very interesting um, results here. Um, if you look at this jar on the right, this is just the compost and mulch without any additive. And you can see that there are mycelium growing in here, but um, you can still see a lot of the compost and mulch blend, not nearly as much as the other uh, jars here. If you look at this jar here, um, if you look at the compost, you can see, yeah, there's, there's quite a bit of mycelium there. Um, it's hard to see in the, in the video, but you can still see open compost and mulch, which you can't really see in these other two jars. And the area above the compost and mulch is still quite clear. There's very little, if any, fungi growing up there. Whereas in these other two jars, it's as if cotton candy has been filled in the entire jar of mycelium. So this is just shrimp without any oil added to it. And it is growing more fun fungi than the just compost and mulch, but not nearly as much as the other two. So these other two jars are very interesting to us, and John Kemp from Advancing Eco-Agriculture gave us this idea um, in a talk that he gave on um, building organic matter in the soil, and he basically said if, if you want to produce organic matter, you need to grow lipids, you need to grow, those, you need to grow fats in your cover crop, and let your cover crop mature to a point where it has a lot of fat in it, and so we thought, well, let's see if we can do the same thing with, fung with uh, fish oil. Uh, the reason that we did it is John's premise is that fungi are best able to utilize the fats, and bacteria are not able to utilize fats. 
And so what we see here in these two jars is um, this is just oil added to the, um, to the Phoenix Oyster. Um, so this is just oil with Phoenix Oyster. And you can see the amount of growth that we have here is substantially more than the shrimp. Um, and very, very substantially more than the compost and mulch by itself. And then this jar here is, uh, is um, shrimp and oil mixed together. And um, it's hard to tell in the, in the video, but um, these jars have about an equal amount of mycelium growing in the jar. Perhaps the oil and shrimp has, has a bit more than uh, just the oil. But when uh, these jars weren't as filled with mycelium, you could definitely tell that these were growing at an equal rate. And so uh, what we've concluded here is that um, the oil is the primary boost to these uh, mycelium growing in the blend that we have produced. And so the shrimp do, do add some uh, fungal food to the uh, compost and mulch, but we do not see the, nearly the response that we do with the oil and then the oil added to the shrimp. And so uh, we found this to be very exciting and we're gonna continue to do this kind of research and we hope that this will carry over to uh, the work that we're doing in the field, which is we're actually, um, before when our compost and mulch is being blended now, we're actually going out with a uh, spray tank and we're adding um, hundreds of gallons to oil to that blend, uh, blending it together in our pile and then uh, thoroughly mixing the oil in with the uh, compost and mulch mix and uh, we believe, based upon these data here, that we're going to really stimulate the fungal uh, aspect of our mulch. And because we're growing a perennial crop of cherries out in our orchards, we really want our uh, blend to be fungally dominated. And so anything that we can do to boost the fungi competitive edge and give them a step up over the bacteria we're excited about because we want this mulch to turn into organic matter. We don't want to have uh, bacteria be the dominating community and just burn it into CO2 and heat. We want to have the fungi doing their thing, eating these uh, complicated molecules over and over again and raising our organic matter. So if you'd uh, like more information on how we did this trial and specifics, uh, leave your information in the comments section and I'll be happy to do that. Again, this is Mike Omeg with Omeg Orchards on our fungal enhancement product trial to our mulch blend.